How we doing? It's Mailman Nick. Follow me on Instagram at Nick Venti. If you enjoy this content, please give me a thumbs up. Don't treat me like a 204B over here. And obviously, these are my own thoughts and opinions. I will not speak on behalf of the Postal Service. You see, my shirt is permanently dirty. You know I'm wearing my work shirt. I just got off work. Uh, 10 hour day. Uh, I'm filling out the 3996 every morning. Now that, uh, you know, overburden route. And depending on the mail volume, depending on the mail volume is where, uh, what I'm going to fill out. Like today, since it's a new route, I put new route and uh, heavy mail. So uh, I'm going to keep doing stuff like that. Uh, my brother just got some Subway cookies. Uh, you know, I'm making a video real quick. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I'm filling out the 39.96, and uh, it was an hour overtime today on my own route. So I'm hoping to get it cut, and if it gets cut, man, it's gonna be a nice route. And um, also, too, I was gonna say, like I always tell you guys, always check your time cards because uh, you know something could happen where you go on a new route, and then they 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 give you the overtime. Uh, or they give you the NS day of your your past route, so then you have to file a grievance on that. To you got to file a grievance if uh, they. So if you if you're at, let's say your NS day is Wednesday from your old route, you start a new route, and they put your NS day as the old route's NS day, and then you worked more on the on your current route's NS day, but they only marked you as uh they only marked it as straight pay like working 12 hours on the ns day for your new route but they didn't count that then the next day is would be your ns day from your old route but then they that's that's the day you only work 10 hours and they and they screw you out of pay you always got to be checking your time card always be checking your time card um you never know what you know you know you know you never know what's uh and it kind of sucks you got to do that, but luckily we got a union. Um, my my union is always on top of stuff when I when I let them know what's going on, and uh, get involved with you guys' union reps. If uh, your union reps not doing good, uh, you know, step up, run against them, do what you got to do, because uh, we need more people fighting for our rights, our our money. And I don't know why management does stuff like that where they know they're gonna get. A grievance filed on them and they're just gonna end up paying more money in that process but it's just uh, being stubborn but you always check your time cards and uh, if you're on overburden route make sure you're filling out the 3996 uh, this is really the first route I really had to do that because this route is crazy long and it's uh mail was light today and I still was an hour over on City 23 and I'm getting the hang of it too and it was still taking me long so it's gonna be probably an hour plus over every single day. Fill out the 39.96, and uh, you know we're still making that money. I got my 10 hours because I had to go help another carrier. They didn't give me overtime. They just uh, I had one hour overtime my own route, and then I had to go help out on uh, on City 44, which are some cluster boxes. I'm I'm I forgot to say I'm out of the ProMaster now. I'm in the Metris. It's a very I love the Metris compared to the ProMasters and. Uh, you know, I could do cluster boxes now and I could do mounted. So let's get it. Uh, I wanted to give you guys a quick update here. I'm on the way to Aldi now. Get some snacks. My brother's going to get some food. And uh, yeah, let's get this money. Thank you guys all for tuning in. Hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys soon.